hello and welcome to this one video in this one video before even, even talking about the video we are going to i'm going to show you what time i'm recording this video like i'm experimenting a lot of cool things and this is one of the coolest thing that i've did so far and you should see this hmm. like one six eight i mean like oh great full screen you <clears throat> before even starting this video you should give this a shot it took me three years to come to a point where i just wanted to record this during the night i just did not wanted to record it during the night but then circumstances made me record in the night i was like hey, great this is going to be a great experience so that brings us okay this is the coffee Night time, 1 a.m. Having coffee. Thank you so much for joining in this one video. We are going to talk about three killer way of creating content. I'm ready. Three, three, three killer ways, three step process. What is that? What was the topic? I forgot the topic. Three killer step way of creating content. I'm ready. In this one video, before we start in this one video, I want you to give it a shot. Recording at the time that you're actually sleeping, when you're actually, when you feel like you are not that productive. I think when you when you do something in the night time when you're actually not productive. It's like for example, for me it was recording this. I mean, my head is banging, and I'm like I have to go pray right now to that. So the last ten days of Ramadan is happening, and it is it's completely jam fine. I'm like, okay, I'm going to record like twenty minutes of video, this one video, and the next video that I'm going to plan, I'm planning to record is five ultra common mistakes while creating online course as an entrepreneur to a dollar mill show. Ten minutes this, probably twelve minutes this, ten minutes done. When you do things completely out of your comfort zone, it took me three years to come to this point where I just act. I want to record it before sleeping. I don't want to do anything. I don't. I don't want to go sleep without recording this video. So it took me three years to come to this point, but then I want you to experience this, say, for today or maybe tomorrow. Just plan it. It's like do thing just so that you can have that sense of accomplishment. Really, when you do things out of your comfort zone, you are going to sleep peacefully in the night, satisfied that ah ha, I did something so crazy in the day that I have set a standard for myself. I don't even have to look at other people. I just have to say I have set a standard for myself. So. In future, when you're going to be having rough days or low days or very bad days, you're going to look back at you. It's like, okay, I I did that back in the day. I'm going to do it today as well. That brings us to the welcoming of this video. Thank you so much for joining this video. And even in this video, I was like, okay, what can be the killer? So the topic was in this one book. The topic is written over here, and the content is in another book now. This. I have taken this content from my own course, the core product design. I was like, I don't have, I don't, I don't really think about the content ideas, but then I'm going to see one. I've already covered in the course of product core product design. I'm going to make a small short video on that. Like, crazy mistakes. What is crazy mistakes? That's the issue we are talking about. It's like, a, okay, pick the things from that one course and make this into a short video. Thank you so much for joining in. We are going to dive into this one thing now. This is step number one. Okay, in step number one is. List down the ten problems you want to find. You want to, not you want to find for people. That's a very bad way of doing things. But ten problems that you want to help people with. Point number one. Now, with your experience and your expertise and your knowledge that you forgot, okay, all three things together. Expertise, expert, expertise, experience, and knowledge. When you have all this together, you think about the problems that you think you feel it's. A problem for your audience. For example, if someone wants to lose weight but they are not able to lose weight because they are too busy in the 24 hours, one point. Maybe, maybe they are mothers. Maybe they are fathers. Maybe, maybe they are teenagers. Maybe they have got like they maybe they are travelers. Maybe they are into corporate world. Maybe they are into business. Maybe, maybe there are mothers. Say for example, from 30 to 35 age who who have some 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 medical medical condition and they want to lose weight. But they are not able to lose weight because they are not able to work out and exercise because because of some medical reasons. So like okay, if you want to help those that type of category, okay, what are the ten problems you think with your experience, expertise, and knowledge is going to help them? Point number one: list down ten problems. If you are not able to figure this out, okay, think about what can be the potential problems for them. Now, when you think about the potential problems, like okay, that person might not be facing this problem, but he might. Might be facing this problem. It's like okay, we can we'll consider the might part of it. It's like might not do this, but okay, this person might be facing this particular issue. 
maybe that person is not sleeping well maybe that person is not maybe that person is not giving much time to work out maybe that person is having leg pain or whereas like that that person is physically exhausted because of the traveling that person is doing on a daily basis like whatever is like might be problems like part one the problems they they are they facing second point is the problems they there are the potential problems it might might not third one think about the problems that you face think about the problems that you face in your whole journey that that this the, the, the problem that you face might be similar to them as well might your problems not even might be similar but then it can actually be seen in lot of ways we have a over a period of time we'll get to be a better judgment on this one is like okay what is better what is not better so three months when, when it comes to 10 problems think of this 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 three sub categories like what are the problems they might be facing what are the potential problems they might be facing or they are they might face in future what problems you face when you have 10 problems in the, in front of you in this way you are going to have like even more ten problems even ten problems it's just the life goes on the, the life goes on eventually as the life the life goes on eventually and if you put in this one framework to use your list is going to go on like the way the life goes like it will tom 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 how do you think i'm creating this video like i know exactly i know there are so many potential problems it might be relevant to you it might be it might be a priority to you but then okay i know like so many things but it comes with experience expertise and knowledge three parts now step number 2 is for each problem now the twist starts now the hard work starts here now for each problem that you've listed say for example one problem with one problem had at three solutions to it for example if you're doing 10 problems you'll be having now 30 solutions each problem one three solutions so 10 10 problems 3333333 30 solution so imagine the way your content can be created now if i am facing problem of being an entrepreneur i don't have time for work okay what can be solution number 1 okay instead of doing 40 minutes of work work i am reducing the time to 10 minutes of work work high intensity so next solution number 2 it can be instead of working the instead of me planning to keep things up in the evening the solution can be i have to be doing things on the first thing in the morning the solution number 3 Solution number three can be I, I have to incorporate that as a habit. I don't have to do it like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. No, I have to do it. It's like it has to go in my DNA some sort of thing. What can be the solutions of the problem that you have listed? Okay, so far so good, great. Problems, three solutions. Then comes the method. Now for each solution, what can be the method? For each solution, what can be the method? You can have you can add one method to it. You can have three methods to it. You can have like ten methods to it based on your experience. You can you can start in, you can start creating influx of content. Point number one, very important. Problem, solution, or method. So when I want to lose weight, what can be the methods? Now if I'm doing like okay, I'm doing first thing in the morning. Go for that. I'm doing the first thing in the morning. What are the methods to reduce weight or gain muscle? What are the methods of doing it? Okay, I need to be focusing on my sleep. I am to be focusing on my diet. I am to be focusing on a specific, specific, specific workout routine. I don't have to be shifting like today do this, today do this. It should be random. It's like what is the exact method of doing it so that it goes into my DNA like on the go. Then come like when you fix all those cool things. Now when you think about methods, each method is going to give you a dedicated result. So wrapping up this one thing is. Ten problems, three solutions, three methods with an with a dedicated reason. Now, this is this in itself for me is the easy version of doing it. If you want to go ahead in an in, 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 in advanced version of it, think of it in this one: like ten problems, ten solutions to each problem, ten methods to each problem. You'll be having like more than nine hundred, three hundred, or nine hundred. Just like do the math. You know how great I am in math. You can do. You can. You can calculate and see how how much content Amri can create over a period of time. Remember about this one thing: problem, solution, methods, and with each method comes a dedicated result. Now, one thing that I'm going to add over here towards the end of like this is for you because most of the people have already left the video. You are watching this. I'm going to tell you: if you you are great at something and you feel you're great at something, two different things. You are great at something. You feel you are great at something. You will be able to judge yourself where where you stand when you do this one. Thing. If you think that you are great at something, so like, what are the ten problems people are facing? I am going to list all of them. What are the what what are the, the solutions that I can give to them? Okay. 
you don't have to google them you don't have to google the solutions and methods and you don't think that because you are already experienced it. you have you have the knowledge it. you have got expertise in it this one method is going to be an an metric to measure where do you stand with your experience where do you stand with your content where do you stand with your expertise and stuff like that this is a good metric to measure for you okay i thought i was great at this thing but then i'm not i need to do i need to learn more things i need to experience more things i need to go train people out to more things you it will be a better judge for you to decide okay where do you stand in your journey ram brings us to the conclusion of this one three three clear step of creating content armory that is problems solutions methods with dedicated research thank you so much for making me this video the topic about the video i'm going to see another exciting video the common mistake the five ultra common mistakes while creating